I finished using the bathroom and then I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror and I looked away really quickly. I was just like terrified because so many people say not to look into the mirror when you're tripping. And I just thought to myself, so what? Like what, what, what is so bad that's gonna happen if I look into the mirror? The following video does not glorify drug use, but instead it intends to promote harm reduction by discouraging the ignorant use of specific drugs, as well as harm elimination by discouraging certain people from using specific drugs altogether. There is no right or wrong way to consume these substances, but there are unsafe and safer ways, and what's more comfortable for one person may be more dangerous for another. Before watching this video, please understand that psychedelic experiences may not be entirely predictable, but that doesn't mean that bad trips and good trips are random. Rather, it means psychedelic experiences are influenced by factors such as the individual's given set, setting, and dosage at that specific point in their life. Therefore, you will not experience what these people have experienced, but you could potentially experience something similar. However, these are random people, so please do not make decisions based on what they say without your own due diligence. And also, take note, once again, that these substances affect everyone differently, especially those with pre-existing mental conditions. This was in September of 2020 as well. This was like a couple weeks after this, the last story I just told. So let's see how many, what was the dosage I took? Okay, I took two grams this time as well in a lemon tech. It was 8, 10 p.m. I was in my room by myself. Uh, that's when I normally trip is like in my room alone. That's like what I like to trip the most. Um, and I was listening to this album by the Moody Blues. It was called Nights in White Satin. And uh, a buddy actually recommended I listen to it while I'm tripping because the album itself kind of like tells a story. And then while, while you're on like psychedelics, it kind of like enhances it and you like kind of become the story and like or like become one with the story. Um, and that's essentially what happened with this trip. You know, a few songs came on and I was just feeling really good and I was like happy and vibing. And then, oh, actually, I went, I was waiting for the trip to, to like the, the peak to happen. So I was coming up and I had to go to the bathroom. So I finished using the bathroom and then I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror and I looked away really quickly. I was just like terrified because so many people say not to look into the mirror when you're tripping. And I was like looking away from the mirror and I just thought to myself like, so what? Like what what's what is so bad that's gonna happen if I look into the mirror? So I turned around and I just like got real close to the mirror and I just like stared at my face for, I don't know, I don't even know how long. It was a long time though. <laughs> and um, I, I like looked into my eyes. This was actually a really beautiful experience. I looked into my eyes and I just saw all the things that I've been through and all the, the hard times that I've gotten myself through and like how strong I've been and like how brave I've been. Um, especially given all of the things I've been through in life. And I kind of like gave myself a pat on the back, you know, and, and just told myself like, I'm proud of you. Like you're doing really good in this life. And you know, it's hard, but you're getting through it and you're learning every step of the way. So like after I was that, I, I started crying like a lot when I was having that experience. I was just like bawling in the mirror, looking at myself. And after I kind of like calmed down from that a little bit, I backed away from the mirror and then I was enamored by like my physical beauty. And, you know, I was just like staring at like my cheeks and like how, how like plump they were. And I was looking at, you know, my eyes again and how they, it felt like they held like many secrets. And then I was looking at my lips and like I could see my lips like breathing and like they were full of life. I just felt like beautiful like I just loved myself and then I envisioned actually it wasn't really an envision I kind of like saw my face and my my head kind of like morph into like a deer like my I grew like antlers I could see antlers coming out of my head and I had like uh, like the black nose and like the spots on my face like like the stereotypical like um your costume or whatever but it looks like more realistic than that and I felt like connected to this deer figure that I was looking back at into the mirror like it was some kind of like symbolism I thought that was really cool though and then I left the bathroom I was probably in there for maybe like an hour or so I went back into my room and I got really excited because my room was all cozy and dark and I had like really pretty 
like a galaxy projector on my ceiling, so that was really cool. And I laid back on my couch, and I closed my eyes, and I continued listening to that Moody Blues album. And so because the album is basically like a story in itself, while I was tripping, I was like listening to this story with my ears, but like my when I'm with my eyes closed, I was having the visuals and the visuals created like music videos that went with the music I was listening to. So, and I was like part of the music videos. So there was like one song that was part of the album that sounded, it like reminded me of like the Disney princess, like Cinderella or like Beauty and the Beast. So like I saw, you know, like the Cinderella, the giant, pumpkin turning into like a carriage and I saw all of the the little mice turn into horses and that was really cool because it was like I was like in it I, I was like experiencing it and then another song came on and it reminded me of the scene in Beauty and the Beast where like all of the like the tea kettles and like the candle holder and the dresser like they all kind of like dress Belle for like this dinner that she's gonna go on with the Beast and I saw like tons of ribbons like flying everywhere and buckles and like jewels and diamonds just flying all over the place and wrapping around Belle and uh, that was really really cool so I was just like a, a, like a part of these scenes that were like in my head and oh yeah basically whenever like a song would end my like I could hear the song ending but I was still closing my eyes like my eyes were still closed and like I still felt like my soul like disconnected from my body but every time I heard the song end I would it like think in my head like okay sweet next song next adventure because each song was like a different adventure basically and I was sailing through space in my head waiting for something to pull me in a different direction and there were actually times where I thought that I was dreaming uh, because I was going in and out of my consciousness like I, I could like open my eyes and still be in that headspace. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I could open my eyes and still see the visuals that my brain was creating from like the music videos. Like it was kind of like an overlay, like an, like an, op I think the right word is opaque. That's like see-through. Maybe I'm not using the right word, but I could see it all even with my eyes opened and I could like kind of control like the, how do I explain this best? It's kind of hard to explain. I could control when to see those visuals and when to not see those visuals, even with my eyes open and closed. It was like I had like full control over what was happening. I guess that's a good way of explaining it. I felt like a true psychonaut. I felt like a like a tripping wizard, um, you know, because I could finally explore my consciousness and and be able to do all these things. I felt like I was like the coolest thing on earth, and um, I. I kind of like came back to my body and decided to smoke some more weed because I realized that weed was like the gateway for me to astral projecting. It was like what like vamped up the experience a lot more. And then I had this like psychedelic uh, discord server that I used to be in. And, you know, during that trip, I like I took that little break. I smoked some weed and then I went to check in with the, the server because they all knew that I was going to be tripping that night. So I went to like update them and whatever. And I just felt so much like gratitude and love towards them and just like comfort and like a sense of belonging and like, like just like unconditional love from them. And they were so nice to me and just like so kind and delicate with like, you know, my state of mind at that time. Um, and I just felt a lot of love for them. And then I closed my eyes again and I laid back down on my couch. I kind of just started adventuring again. And then most of my trips end with me falling asleep because I usually trip late at night. So I don't really have like time to like reflect or come down after my trip. I basically just fall asleep during my come down. But usually I, I have like a notebook that I write in during my trip. So like I can record things that I'm feeling or thinking about or like any ideas that I have. Because sometimes I get a lot of good ideas when I'm tripping. <laughs> so I want to write them down. But I think that was pretty much the end of that trip. Yeah. Have you received any long-term effects or short-term effects as a result of that experience? I don't think so. I think that that was mostly just like an experience where... Actually, no. Yes, I did. It was kind of like validating that I like had control over like what... How do I explain this? Like I kind of had control over like what I was perceiving, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense. And it just kind of solidified that for me. And then I just like did a lot more research. <laughs> 
I think each time I tripped, I would like learn another thing and then I would just do more research on that thing. And then I would trip again and like learn something else and then go back. And so, I mean, I'm sure it, it, like each trip has affected, uh, like um, affected me in, in those ways, but I don't really actively like pay attention to them, I guess. 